Good evening, friends. A year ago, uh, I, before I'd announced, and before anybody came in, before anybody knew who I was, uh, and before really anybody had, had heard me speak or do anything, uh, a few of you were kind enough to lend your support. Actually, a lot of you. I'm looking around the room, and I can just take off names. Uh, and I would be here all night, and it would be almost everybody here. Um, but I want to thank you, because you gave me support, you gave me encouragement and the enthusiasm that I needed, and you, know, you did things small and large, from baking me challah bread to um, being my finance director. <laughs> um, and you did it all without asking anything of me. And I'm a novice to politics, but I know the first and last rule of life is to know who your friends are. And I am so happy to be able to celebrate this birthday with you, my friends. Because some of you even really put your necks out for me. You talked me up when I needed talking up. You backed me. You showed me the way, really, um, and showed me what I needed to do to be a serious candidate and endorse me and really put yourselves at risk for, um, to do it. And I'm more grateful than I can say. And I'm verklempt now because I'm thinking about like just every single thing, including Marcus getting a ticket, making an illegal left turn to get to a recording on time. <laughs> Contest. <laughs> he was about to, he, he almost he almost continued it thinking that I was gonna give him any favors. But I'm not gonna make the normal campaign speech tonight because frankly most of you already know it, because you're that supportive and that um, I've been to so many events that you could probably actually give the speech better than I could at this point. Especially Cindy who's laughing over the not yeah, I could. Um, what I do want to say, though, is that we are on the verge of something extraordinary. Not just impeachment. <laughs> we are on the verge of being the first state to flip all the way blue in the South. <laughs> Literally, all the way blue. And what that means is that we're going to get things that are so common sense, but long overdue. Common sense gun laws. The, the novel idea that women and men should be treated equally under the law. <laughs> Environmental justice, which really means dealing with what is now a climate crisis, and we should be calling it that because it is a climate crisis. And finally, the thing that's closest to my heart is reversing the tide of mass incarceration. So, <laughs> Thank you for your support. Let's go get this done.